Okay, so to finish off, let's go with some uh, quality journalism from the Daily Dot. Uh, by the way, that's sarcasm, just in case you didn't pick up on that. With no hymen, no diamond mantra, men's rights activists hunt for the perfect virgin. Warning, this post contains sexually explicit and sensitive material. There is no such thing as a reformed whore. There is no way for a woman to erase her sexual past. A woman's virginity should be preserved for her future husband. While these are prevalent opinions in some religious circles, they're also common to many MRAs or men's rights activists, for those who have avoided the group's mostly misogynistic rhetoric. In the past year, they have packaged this worldview into a common mantra, no hymen, no diamond. And here we have another example of shonky journalism in which they take a Facebook page which quite possibly is a troll site which has absolutely nothing to do with the men's rights movement and falsely associate it with the mainstream men's rights movement. You know, as if we all believe that if a woman isn't a virgin then she's not worthy of being married. Of course, you'd be hard-pressed to find any prominent MRA who believes this. But let's look through the, the rest of the article and see if she mentions any other evidence. I'm sure she must have some other evidence apart from this one Facebook page that doesn't mention anything about the men's rights movement. Hashtag no hymen, no diamond first appeared as a Twitter hashtag around October 2014. The inception of the term seems to have been organized on a forum for the return of kings, a website operated by MRA poster child and pickup artist extraordinaire Roosh V, with the intent of trolling. So, uh, Roosh V is now poster child for the men's rights movement? I must have missed that meeting, uh, but... <laughs> I guess, in a way, he is a poster child for the men's rights movement, but but only in the mind of corrupt feminist journalists. And she even admits that it started as a, a form of trolling. you got to realise that Roosh V is in this to make money. He's not in it to liberate men, to to help men's rights. He's, he's not there to improve the lives of anyone except himself he wants to sell books that's it so one way he does this is to get as much attention as possible by saying controversial things and stirring the pot and getting free publicity the <laughs> the downside of that unfortunately is the constant false association with us that is, uh, it's a downside for us. Not so much for Roosh, because he's getting publicity. And, of course, the feminists benefit from it, because they get to take free shots at us. And, of course, this story spread like a bad case of herpes, thanks to journalistic hacks who are more interested in headlines than doing five minutes of research. It appeared in the Daily Mail. It appeared in Metro UK. It appeared in Huffington Post. Not a big surprise. It appeared on something called Death and Taxes Mag. It appeared on Bustle. It appeared on Jezebel. Of course, why am I not surprised? It appeared on iDiva. It appeared on the Frisky. It appeared on the Raw Story, once again, can't say I'm surprised. It appeared on Viral Women. It appeared on New York Daily News. It appeared on News Crunch. It even appeared on a website called Vagabomb. Vagabomb? Really? There's actually a website called Vagabomb. Why am I not surprised? This is the current state of journalism. All that's needed is one bullshit, poorly researched article about a troll page for this bullshit to spread everywhere. 
hack journalist after hack journalist and then copy and paste the bullshit without so much as five minutes research no credibility needed just a clickbaity headline that's it this is what modern day journalism has become now personally I think the Facebook page is most likely just a trolling page but let's for argument's sake assume for a moment that it's actually legit I have to ask so what why is it such a big deal that these guys want to marry virgins now please let me stress it's not a, a world view that I hold nor is it a men's rights issue nor should it be classed as a men's rights issue this really has nothing to do with men's rights but if a small percentage of guys want to marry virgins well even though it's not a world view I hold or support it's still their right I guess you could say it's kind of like a small percentage of women will only marry guys who make six figures I guess we could sum that up as no cash no gash feel free to use it as a hashtag if you wish once again uh, I don't endorse that particular choice of those women but at the same time it is their lives and their choice and they're free to marry whoever they want and if they set the criteria at a six-figure sum then so be it personally I think uh, no hymen no diamond or no cash no gash are fairly toxic and anyone wise should probably stay away from them and not marry them which is the whole point if you disagree with their choice in partner fine no one's forcing you to marry them that simple it's really a, a non-issue it's a, another storm in a teacup uh, created by <laughs> the feminists who just want to slag off men's rights activists once again in their never-ending war for justice anyway folks that's the end of another episode hope you enjoyed it uh, hope you're used to my voice by now so until next time always remember don't drink the poison kool-aid boys and girls how you doing today boys and girls yeah well today we're going to talk about men's rights yeah today 2015 uh, men have no rights in the United States of America yeah the feminists have taken over all the feminists and all the lesbians have taken over this country the United States of America they're taking all the politics, they're taking over in politics, they're taking over in education, churches, everything, man, they're taking over everything. And uh, so, it's time for us men to stand up and grow a pair and take over. Be a man again. Yeah, it's time to stand up and fight, man. Men's right, you gotta stand up, man. The hell the consequence, man yeah so anyway well you know if I find anything down below I'll put it down below he um he links to Infowars yep uh, do the research boys and girls you know how to do the research right so up there and uh so anyway um we gotta do it so uh, give me a you know thumbs up or a thumbs down. You know it's only a matter of time before social justice warriors and feminists start using this guy as an example of an actual MRA. They'll probably start doing it any minute now. And all the men should read the United States Constitution, man. 
All the men should go and invest in the gate and, and invest in the United States Constitution. Go read it in the library. Go take a political science get book, <coughs> get a political science uh, college textbook or something. Anyway, you can find the United States Constitution and read it. 